it may not be the biggest room in the Tab 400, but it's a pretty important one, and we're going to take a look at it in this week's Take 5 episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. I'm standing in what I consider the most luxurious wet bath that there is in the market. This is our second unit that's had a wet bath, and I can tell you it is by far the nicest wet bath that we've seen, and it's probably the driest wet bath we've ever seen. I want to quickly go through some of the features of the Tab 400 wet bath. Number one, look at all this amazing space that's built in. Built out of solid wood, lots of room to store, store your toiletries or your towels. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, isn't it going to get wet? Well, no, because one of the features that makes this one of the driest wet baths in the industry is this shower curtain that New Camp provides. It's actually going to cover three sides of your wet bath, and that's going to keep everything nice and dry, except for right here in the front and the shower pan. When you're done showering, I recommend that you leave your shower curtain open with your overhead fan on, let it run for a little while. It's gonna help dry out the bathroom. It's gonna help dry out the shower curtain. Once the shower curtain is completely dried, go ahead and just pull it on back. And New Camp has installed right behind the toilet a hook for you to secure your shower curtain. So that's why I like to call it the driest wet bath in the industry. Now let's look at some of the other features. Let's talk about lighting. We have a switch. It's gonna turn on some nice accent lighting. Not enough light for you from the switch with the accent lighting and the overhead fan. Well, they've also installed an overhead LED light, which will give you lots of light. Let's talk about the shower head. Very nice shower head installed in your Tab 400. It does a couple of things. You can swivel it back and forth. You can lower it. You can raise it. You can take it off and it has a built-in on off switch so what i like to do is start by holding my shower head turning my hot water on and then my cold water and getting it flow until it's warm and then i shut it off and i put it back in now i'm ready to begin my shower turn it on get my hair wet get my body wet i'll shut it off again i can lather up shampoo up turn it back on rinse off and we're saving water while we're doing that you have two knobs to turn your water on. The red is gonna be your hot, the blue is gonna be your cold. Oh, speaking of cold, you're not gonna get cold in your Tab 400 wet bath because right below the shower is part of the Aldi heat system. So yes, this bath does have heat in it, which is really nice during the winter months. Next, let's talk about the commode. Now this is a foot flush toilet. Now if you've ever never used a foot flush toilet, it's really pretty simple. What I like to do is make sure there's always some water in there, and if there's not enough, just slowly depress down. We don't actually want to open it. We just want to let the water run in until we get a desired water amount. When you're done using the toilet, just push all the way down. That's going to flush it down. When you're first setting up your toilet and your black tank is empty, number one, you want to make sure you run your toilet to put in a couple gallons of fresh water, and then you want to add a chemical that's going to help keep your black tank smelling fresh. Now, there's all different kinds of chemicals out there, and some people have a preference. The key is make sure you're putting something in to keep it smelling fresh. And you can check the level of your black tank over by the front door on the indicator panel. Don't worry if you've flushed your black tank, you've emptied your black tank and it's still reading a third full or two thirds full, there's a pretty good ch chance that there's maybe a piece of toilet paper stuck on one of the sensors. A good way to get rid of that is after you've dumped your black tank and you're getting ready to head home, throw a bag of ice in. What we found is that ice will move around and sometimes it'll actually take whatever's on your sensor off and when you get home, it'll be reading empty again. So that is your toilet in your Tab 400 bathroom. Finally, we have some nice features in here. Number one, we have the marine grade toilet paper holder. It's gonna keep your toilet paper nice and dry. And they've also included some hooks here so that you can hang your towels and let them dry. On the door, they've included a mirror so you can take a look at yourself. And finally, who doesn't need a sink in the bathroom? Well, we do. Not really room for a sink, and the ones that we've seen where they actually have a sink, usually the sinks are so small you can't use them. But New Camp found the fold down sink. So it folds down, you can fold your faucet down. The biggest complaint we've seen with this sink is it drains slow. So a couple things. Number one, pull the center plug, make sure you don't have anything blocking it like here. 
Number two, even if it's clear, it is going to drain slow. Just slowly lift it up and allow some of the water to escape, put it back down, do that a couple times. Take a towel, wipe it out, fold your faucet back up, put your plug back in, and you can put your sink back up. Now, when you do put your sink back up, if there's still any water in it, go nice and slow, it will drain down. If you go too fast, it's going to splash out. All right, that is your wet bath in the tab 400. Like I said, I think it's one of the nicest baths you'll ever find, and it's also one of the driest wet baths you'll ever find. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.